Hey guys, Kevin Ward here at KevinNow.com. Um, I was just talking to a real estate agent and we're actually negotiating a contract on one of my listings. And something happened that really, really made me think about the power of learning how to negotiate from a win-win perspective rather than negotiating from some kind of a power play or some kind of an adversarial position. I was, I'm dealing with a, uh, with a great agent, Pam, from Remax, and here's what happened. We, had, we just uh, got a contract executed, we're opening escrow, and I had scheduled an inspection, which is something that needed to be done in this particular case, but she did not want it to be done the way I did it. So she, I sent her an email letting her know what I had done, and she imme almost immediately called me and now we have the showdown. Now we get the situation where I've done something, which I didn't do anything inappropriate, but what I did was not the way she wanted it to be done, which was, again, in the situation, perfectly fine. But the magic was how she handled it that made me think, you know what, that lady, I will do a deal with Pam any day, anywhere, because she makes getting the deal done a pleasure rather than a battle. She makes it a dream to work with her rather than a nightmare to work with her. And we all know agents that are nightmares to work with, right? So hopefully it's not you, and I'm sure it's not, or you wouldn't be listening, watching this video. So what happened was she called me and she said, Hey, Kevin, I just wanted to thank you for being so proactive and going ahead and getting that inspection scheduled. However, I was talking to my buyer and we wanted to do this and felt like this is the way it needed to be done. So I hate to ask this, but could you cancel the appointment and cancel the inspection and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we took care of it and we and, and so we canceled the inspection and so forth. But what was amazing to me was, and, and she's been this way through the whole transaction and negotiating the contract and everything, she's everything that has happened, which with some agents, I know that some agents would take the very exact same scenario and they would have called me and turned it into a drama. They would have turned it into an issue. They would have turned it into a big problem. And here's, here's what I notice about her and about a lot of great agents that are really masters at negotiating. And that is they know how to take issues and simply focus on solutions. What do we need to do to fix this? Where other agents come in and they do it just the opposite. They take an issue and they turn it into a crisis, into a problem. And they'll use terms like, oh, this could be a deal breaker. Oh, my, my client's freaking out. Oh, this is a big problem. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, you're, oh what I've been through. And they turn everything into this mountain of stress, this potential volcano of a crisis. And it's just like, you want to quit. I mean, it just makes you want to say, you know, let's just call off the whole deal. Okay, I'm just going to call my seller and say, you know, let's just forget the whole thing. Because some agents have this beautiful way of just clouding up and blowing up the whole day. Don't do that. When you have it, here's the, here's the reality. Whenever you're doing a transaction, you have a buyer that wants to buy a house. You have a seller that wants to sell a house. And you have two agents that both want the deal to close. And what's amazing is when it all happens and it goes smoothly and everybody's happy at the end, it's all a win-win, which is what we all want. Everybody's happy. It's been low stress. It's not stress-free necessarily, but it's just, it's just been smooth transaction. And yet it seems like some agents are bent on not letting that happen. And it's almost like they feel like that unless they create a, unless they go to battle for their client, they feel like they haven't earned their commission or they haven't done their job or they haven't really represented their client well or something. I don't know what it is, but it's almost like some of them think that they're trial lawyers in a real estate transaction and everything's an issue. So my suggestion and my, my plea with you today is be the agent that everybody wants to do deals with. Because you'll get a reputation in the real estate community real fast, as you know, and that is by the way you work with other agents, how well you return, how quickly you return phone calls, how good you communicate, whether you respond to emails or you ignore them, how uh, whether you let people know things up front or you don't, whether when you call you're pleasant and easy to talk to, you ask great questions, you don't make negative assumptions, you don't jump to conclusions, you don't stir the pot, you don't ignite a flame out of something that's not an issue, and you don't make a mountain out of a molehill. You take molehills and find solutions to make everything smooth. Be that agent that makes things smooth, not makes things rocky. Be the agent that's the dream to work with, not the nightmare to work with. Your clients will be served better. 
you make the deals go smoother, and you'll enjoy your life and your business a whole lot more. So take action on it, put it here in your brain, and be that agent that everybody wants to work with. Again, Kevin at KevinNow.com. Look forward to talking to you soon.